Hey everyone, Dr. Krautsack here, owner of Emerald City Family Chiropractic, and today I have Pamela with me, who's been an amazing patient in the office. And uh, you know, when somebody comes in the office, typically they get started slowly, uh, they kind of work into things, but Pamela went all in from the start. Um, she got amazing results. And so, Pamela, why don't, why don't you tell them, you know, we met at the home show, right? We, so we met at a local event in town, um, you know, started talking to our staff, we started chatting for a little bit. Why, you know, what, what was the big thing that made you say, you know, I gotta do something? My legs hurt me really bad from the top of my thighs to the top of my ankles, all sides, front, back, each side, was impairing my ability to walk and to do things. Every time I wanted to go somewhere, I would need to, I was always worried, where can I sit? Where can I sit? Because I would have to sit. There was no choice. And so I had to do a lot of sitting and then do some more walking and the pain had in, it had increased over years. I had my leg pain started approximately 10 years ago. I was told by the doctors that it was varicose veins. There was not much you could do about it. That I just needed to lose weight, wear support hose, elevate my legs and try heat and see um, what worked for me. Take some ibuprofen and do that. But over the years, those things didn't help as much as they did in the beginning. It was just impeding my ability to work and having fun and doing things. I was always worried about sitting and not being able to do an activity. And so I came to see Dr. Krautsack. He said that he could help me. At first I was really kind of doubting. I don't think anybody could help me because how can you help veins? Yeah, so initially you were pretty skeptical, mm -hmm. right? Right. They're telling you it's varicose veins, you've done different drug treatments, right? Mm -hmm. Did you do physical therapy as well? No, they didn't. They okay. said that physical therapy wouldn't help me, mm -hmm. that just to walk and be as active as I can, wear the support hose and, yeah. and do these other things to try and cope with the pain. Yeah. But not really anything, they said it's a very hard thing to, to deal with. So I started therapy with you and at first, you know, I didn't see a whole lot of difference with the pain in my legs. And then you adjusted my legs and my hip and then I had a huge change mm -hmm. at that point. The pain was gone and I just couldn't believe it was gone. And I thought, oh, it'll be back in a couple of hours, you know. And then, you know, I noticed that a day gone by, my legs don't hurt. A week went by, I don't hurt. I'm up, I'm moving. My legs feel sore because it's like I'm using muscles I haven't used for before or for a long time. And they were getting like tired. So, you know, I'm up doing things. I have a little more energy and I can go and do things. I'm not so worried about where am I going to sit anymore. You know, I'm not wearing support hose. I'm not taking ibuprofen. I'm not, um, my life is has improved. And with learning about nutrition and what I eat and how I can eat to help my body and help different inflammations and different things. And I'm trying to make those changes and stick with it because it's in the long run, it's gonna help me more over time. And that's what I want. I don't wanna go back and have a lot of pain. That just really gives you a lot of negative attitude because I was worried about the future. How am I gonna cope with this in the future? What is my future going to be? And now instead of saying that, I'm saying I have a bright future. I, the pain is controllable. I have tools. Yeah, her body's healing, right? So we say the body's healing, right? We just gotta remove the interference. Mm -hmm. um, and there's so many things, that even even mental interference, right? We gotta have a positive outlook, which we worked on a lot. Um, and even when you came in, you, you, you'd already gotten some nutrition advice, arguably from your primary care doctor, right? And a few other people. Um, but you have to be doing the right things as well. She got, she got what I would call great advice, right? Go to the store, avoid trans fats. Mm -hmm. um, eat more vegetables, right? But when you go to the store, there's so much marketing, it becomes very impractical, um, right? So you were actually buying a lot of the wrong foods that you thought were healthy, right? right? Because of the marketing, right? So you started changing a lot of the healthy fats, getting the good fats in, right? Um, how much um, how much weight have you lost since starting here? I've lost 20 pounds. 20 pounds, awesome, right? So she's lost 20 pounds, her leg pain's gone. What other mm -hmm. benefits have you had just from getting adjusted and getting healthy? I move better. I I can, Definitely. <laughs> um, I can get down on the floor easier and get up and I can run around the park with my grandchildren and I'm not so tired or, you know, I can join in things. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about, should I take a chair to do this or, 
you know, I just go now and I just don't worry about it. And that's a really new feeling for me. It's energizing. It, it's, it, it's not like a lead weight on me anymore. It's just really good not to hurt every day and I can get up and just do what I want. Perfect, perfect. Very good, and that's what it's about. It's about freeing your mind, right? Freeing your body, getting you healthy, right? So you can do the things you wanna do. I mean, so many people, and we, I've said this many times before, so many people come in here with pain and we wanna help you with your pain. We don't want you to be in pain. At the end of the day, the pain's not your problem, right? It's, it's right. You, you not being able to uh, play with your grandkids, right? Or go run down the beach or uh, play tennis. I have people who just want to play play golf with their with their friends, but they're in so much pain that that prevents them from doing that, right? So that's the key. And so, um, if you have any pain, you're suffering, right? You feel like you're sick or you're not moving properly, um, give us a call. We'll put a link below. Um, we help people with these kind of problems every day, not because we're treating their pain, but we could because we help them get to the cause of their health problems. We get them functioning better. Right and through that, your body has the ability to heal, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's really what it's about. And so Pam, do you have any uh, last words, suggestions for people out there? For me, with the changes, I have a lot of negative tapes um, floating through my head. And with Dr. Kevin's help, I was able to turn the negatives into a positive. So when the negative tapes start running, I am now immediately stopping and saying the positive things to myself because that will keep me on track. That will help me. The negativity is not going to help me. So I am thinking more positively, even if negative tapes try to run, I stop it. Perfect. Perfect. Your body's healing, right? You're gonna have a great day, right? Yes. And we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. <laughs>